What's up guys, Shuri here, and I'm gonna show you some Quicksilver. And this is something that I'm trying out. I'm gonna start giving like a little sneak peek of one of the cool things that happens later in the video. That way you guys can kind of figure out towards the beginning some of the cool stuff that might happen and what I'm doing. So uh, let me know if you guys think the sneak peek idea is good or not, and uh, we'll get into it. So we are gonna start off using Quicksilver Ranger, and most people go to the right side or go up the stairs, so I'm gonna sit here and wait for anyone who's gonna go on the right side, and then after we kill both those guys, I'm just gonna stay here, and then if anyone comes on the right side, I'll get him, or if I see him start to take the hill, I'll run in there with my Ranger, which does a lot of damage. We do end up getting the kill with the Ranger and getting another one pretty low. Getting three kills on our first death is pretty nice. So one problem that I have is I tell everyone that the best thing to do is rush me. If I'm sniping and I'm posted up somewhere, rush me and flank me and that's your best bet to kill me. And um, Azrael watches my videos and he knows exactly what to do to kind of help his team. And so that's what he did. He rushed me and flanked me and it was really annoying the whole time. It's funny because a lot of people don't do this thinking that I guess that I'm not going to tell them the actual way to kill me. But 100% your best bet is just flank behind me, rush with scout and shotgun and just try to keep coming behind me. And your teammates will usually end up sniping or doing something out in front. But what's most important is you're coming behind and keeping me distracted so I'm not able to get the multi kills on you and your teammates. And this works against any top sniper. The fact that you have to worry about someone coming up behind you means you're not able to just focus on multi kills. So right here we are going to go for this guy. Sadly aim assist screws us over pretty hard. It goes right over his head when he's one shot and I realized this so I immediately switched to ranger knowing that the long range damage ranger will end up killing that guy and resetting the aim assist. So that's how we got around the game messing up. Right here we do end up getting a triple. We have no armor so we're going to just look for anyone to come behind us and we find the guy. Luckily we were able to hit him with ranger and knife him for the triple and then go kill the other guy in the middle with the ranger for the four at once. Then we get the five at once and then the six at once. And that is enough to be able to give us the points we need to win the game. Luckily for us, we didn't have to keep getting rushed from behind by Azrael. Good game, buddy. You did a great job there. And right here, we are going to end up getting the guy with our Ranger and then pull out our Quicksilver and quick scope him in the back. That gives us the double. We go help cap the hill and we're just going to play the hill with our Ranger and just try to be as cautious as possible because if we can sneak up on people, then that means that we can hit them for pretty large damage. Um, sadly, we have a guy that's not really playing, so it is 3v4, and the other team apparently knows that, so they're just going in our spawn to go kill the guy who's not playing. So what we're going to do is just do our best to be in the hill and hit them for huge ranger damage, and basically just try to give our teammates a fighting chance to be able to get the hill back, and just kill anyone who does end up taking it. So go get a again being in the spawn. Shout out to my boy over here, Outlaws going strong. He does end up doing a great job there to get me low, and he does make it where I die. Great job on him. Right here, we do get the double, and then I go for the triple, but things don't register properly. Sadly, we do have to wait just a second, and it doesn't give us the triple. Fortunately, we do end up getting the elimination streak, and then going for more, we do get another multi-kill. I'm trying to go for the triple right here, and for whatever reason, the throwing knife didn't work out. Go get it, doing a great job again. We're down by about 100 right here, and like I said, playing 3v4 on hill is very hard. We do end up trying to catch back up a little bit. I have only killed three of them, and I know there's a fourth one. He does wait for his teammates, which is really smart of him. I do end up getting him low, and we're going to just do our best to try to be able to catch up. But again, when you're down by 150, and it is 3v4 the whole time, it makes it very difficult to be able to basically play the game at all, much less be able to come back. But we do end up getting 381 points, 17 kills, and really good everything. A lot of that had to do with Quicksilver Ranger being just really good and being able to like overtake a game by yourself. 
because you can just do so much damage on your own it's quite ridiculous right here we are able to get a triple kill right off the bat and we're gonna look for the fourth guy we find him just a little bit late it kind of sucks sunburst is just super overpowered right now it isn't just good but it's super easy to use is more of the problems that i have that's why you'll see a lot of people who are orochi people that like to use sunburst and it's just really unfortunate that it's a thing but it's all good because of the shotgun glitch most people's assault rifles aren't going to be one that hurts you when you shoot it up close because if you use something like a sunburst it's much harder to be able to do the instant shot shotgun switch so it's not as popular as it should be by the uh, overpoweredness of sunburst so at least there's that going for it my fear is they'll finally get rid of the shotgun mechanic and then sunburst is going to be super overpowered and gob's not going to see it coming because it's not used a ton right now but either way that's another problem for another day but if you're looking for a good ar at long distance that you don't have to be able to aim very well to use hey sunburst is your gun just be careful because everyone is rushing right now so it might be something that you end up having uh, some trouble with if they do rush you because if you shoot them when they're point blank to you then you're going to shoot yourself as well luckily right there we're able to kill a bunch of people with our quicksilver and then when they get close we shoot them with our ranger we got a lot of kills and points off of it. Sadly, the ranger didn't really register it then very well. And right there, my quicksilver also didn't register. Sadly, when you're on North America uh, server and you play people that are from Latin America, a lot of guns just don't register. I don't know why. And I'm assuming that they have just as much issues as I'm having. Probably worse because it's my server and they're the ones who are lagging and this doesn't just affect Quicksilver It affects all instant shot sniper rifles including liquidator. Um, I know this affects um, North American server if you're playing against South American players, but I'm not sure if this is the same on other servers If you guys can let me know on Europe or India if you guys have the same problem I'd really appreciate you letting me know because I can use that to tell people in my uh, Quicksilver tutorial to not get discouraged by that and if it's happening maybe switch to a backup weapon. Um, that's the best thing I've found is either you just try not to get frustrated and power through it and then just realize you're going to miss some shots on certain players. Or what I do, and against those certain players, go to a backup loadout like a crossbow loadout or a uh, rushing loadout. That way I don't get frustrated because one of the few things that really makes me mad in this game is when things that uh, should work don't. And um, so instead of getting mad about it, I just go ahead and use my backup weapon. But um, so if any of you guys can let me know if this also affects EU and uh, India servers or Brazil servers, I would appreciate it. And luckily for us, we are getting this game just done fast as can be. And the other team's actually really good this game. They all have a ton of Hall of Fames. And so to be able to just close that game out in like two and a half minutes, like it's nothing. I mean, that's 33 Hall of Fames, 22 Hall of Fames three hall of fames with like all of them having insane stats it is just crazy but i really like this uh quicksilver with ranger combo it also works with porcupine and pretty much any shotgun to be honest so don't worry if you don't end up having ranger it's fine you can still use this just fine the most important thing is just to have the quicksilver everything else doesn't really matter that much also guys, I am so proud to say that in like the first 14 hours, we got the 100 like goal on the liquidator video. So I will start making a liquidator tutorial now. Um, so on Monday, we'll have the Quicksilver tutorial come out and then liquidator tutorial will probably take me like five days to a week to make. So it'll come out probably like next weekend. But I really appreciate you guys and I hope this has helped and I hope you have a great day.